Assalamu alaikum guys A lot to take in after watching that match of Habib and uh, Gaethje So much happened especially um, after Habib made Gaethje tap It was my last fight here Apparently he was in the hospital he broke his foot Yeah so three weeks ago so he has two broken toes and a bone in his foot that's broken or something like that. That's what his corner was telling me. And uh, never told anybody walking around. So, I mean, he is one of the toughest human beings on the planet. We were elated, we were happy. And then it was just a mix of emotions. Then like, what's Habib doing? And he just goes to the middle of the ring. Is he doing sajda? Is he prostrating? And you just see him... You just see him crouch down like a... Like a little child. You just see him crouch down like a little child. And... Allahu Akbar. Then you realize that he's, he's crying. He's crying because of the pressure, because of his father not being there, his father being with him since the start of the journey. And and I guess we weren't prepared for what he was about to say. My, my mother, I promise her, it's gonna be my last fight. And if I give my word, I have to follow this. And him being Habib, honoring his mother's words, announced in front of the whole world that he is now going to quit the UFC despite being the most dominant fighter he's gonna quit it why to honor the words of his mother <laughs> and if that's not all he when he does get up and the mic's put in front of his face he starts advising his competitor yeah Gaethje to look after his parents as well but you and I both know he wasn't just speaking to Gaethje he was speaking to us all I know a lot of things about you Be close with your parents because One day it's gonna happen something because You never know what's gonna happen tomorrow And I vibe with Habib on this because I lost my father when I was one and a half And you only value something once you've lost it Many of you guys watching Whatever you're going through you're never gonna know You're never gonna know But it's best that you never know yeah, and you have your parents because once you lose them there's no going back after that you know we watch all these movies and you know the the billion viewed songs on youtube are to do with you know Ill, you know inappropriate relationships but the relationship that we are familiar with right at the start is the the son and the mother yeah the daughter and the mother your mother and muhammad hijab made a very good point and he said the human rights that we are told about nowadays it's pretty much mostly about what you are owed and not what you owe others yeah there's no human rights about the mother but Islam makes it explicitly clear in the primary source like the Quran don't even say you know don't even make sounds like oof to your mother yeah and in the hadith we know the mother comes first the mother comes second <laughs> the mother comes third and the father comes so yeah after watching it i don't know i felt like there was a lump in my throat and i don't want to miss that guy <laughs> you know what i'm saying i've been you know editing videos of habib for 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 i mean since the whole connor thing went down and you know what each time i do it the guy blows me away you know some people don't get it but you know nowadays with with how dark the the, the world has become allah sent a ray of light blowing people away on a platform with the riches and the fame and mashallah doing what he was doing it's like uh, because like famous money today you champion tomorrow everything can change you know and you never know what's gonna happen like most important thing for me it's family i have no doubt this is not the last that we've heard of habib but uh i definitely am gonna miss 
missed this guy and now you're gonna get the people that were hiding underneath the rocks and the cracks and crevasses coming out and making all these bold statements and I know some people watching they are not on talking terms with their parents guys don't don't play games when it comes to your parents even if the fault is yours life is too short go and apologize you need to find ways that you can communicate to your parents you might need to maybe pick up a few psychology books or or you know go to family counseling or, or something you have to make this relationship work uh, may Allah bless our brother may Allah increase him keep him happy and may Allah assist the rest of us that are going through any family problems and grant us the ability to rectify them and become the coolness of the eyes of our parents and before they pass away may Allah make it such that our parents are happy with us let's leave it there guys until next time ah alhamdulillah assalamu alaikum